They are two horrifying scenarios. In one, armed students enter Brooksville Central High School and start shooting. In another, a disgruntled parent goes after administrators. You want to mess with my family? Fernando County Detective Vincent Gargano plays the role of one of the bad guys. I try to make it at least as, as real as um, the intel that we get. The Hernando County Sheriff's Office does this kind of training to prepare student resource officers for situations like ones we've seen all too often. After Columbine, police no longer just surround a building and wait it out. Uh, law enforcement's changed their methods, and what we do now is we actively try to engage that violence and try to stop it. <laughs> The sheriff's office asked us not to show their tactics for obvious reasons, but we did get a view of the terror they must face. Seniors Miranda Heath and Christian Kerfner played two of the students trapped in the hallway. There's just nothing to compare to it, to know it could actually happen. They learned that until the threat is eliminated, classrooms are locked and police won't help injured students. Just to see like the teachers not be allowed to let you in to save the other students, like I know it breaks their heart because they'll tell you it breaks their heart. And then to see the cops just walk right by, it's like really like, would you really do that? Like it, it's just scary. This exercise was planned long before the massacre in Colorado, but authorities here say one day they will learn from what happened there as well. In Brooksville, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.